Shoo! What is going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode. It's a glorious day out here. Freaking raining. We actually just sat in the truck for about the last hour. Um, waiting for this rain to let up. And, uh, is that a duck? Oh, no, it's not a duck. And we're going duck hunting today. I don't see any. It's freaking cold out here, though. It's cold, it's rainy, it's windy. It's a good day to hunt, um, but it's it's raining. So we're, we kind of waited. We're going to throw all of our stuff on, all of our warm duck gear. Hopefully it doesn't get... It doesn't get too bad out here. If it starts raining more, it's gonna kind of suck out here. But I do have something important to tell you guys. So holiday season obviously coming up. You guys, a lot of you guys have purchased duck stuff. Some of you guys haven't that are still wanting to. I have an important message for you. By December 6th, at midnight on December 6th, is the cutoff date to guarantee your packages before Christmas. So if you guys want anything from Ducks for Christmas or to give to somebody, all you youngsters watching that want your parents to purchase something, tell them they have to do it before December 6th to guarantee it. There could It could fluctuate a little bit, but like that's the cutoff date. That's basically when the post office says it has to be ordered by this time. It gives us X amount of days to process it and then mail it out to guarantee it to you uh, before the holiday. So December 6th, we've come out with a new discount code. The whole website is discounted. Use code SANTA to get 15% off anything on the website. It's the last sale we're gonna do for the year. So if you've been waiting, if there's something in stock that you guys want, use code SANTA to get 15% off your entire purchase. But you gotta make sure you order before December 6th if you wanna guarantee it by Christmas. So. Banjo, what do you think about that? You're looking warm. You got the thermal vest, thermal coat. You're looking. Oh, and thermal hoodie. Oh, yeah. Cheese and ice guy. And then guy. we got special guest, Trapper J. Who wins the last time we went duck hunting? Ten years ago. Banjo, you were barely come out the womb by then, guy. Hell yeah. So hey, he's. Can we show your fit real quick? What are, what's the duct tape for, buddy? Um, you know, when you put on waders, your pants sometimes scrunch up. And so, which we have, Ducks actually has pants for them. They were dirty. Macy did not do the laundry, so I had to wear these. Um, so I went ahead and just put on some duct tape and to keep keep them from riding up, you know, putting the waders on. Are you on. that or what? Yeah, trademark Ducks, duck, ducks Wader Duct Tape coming in 2021. You guys can check it out. Link down below. Just kidding. Anyway, so we're going to get our, everything dressed. Well, I'm gonna get dressed. I don't know what else is getting dressed, but I'm gonna get dressed. It's freaking cold out here. I'm talking fast because I want to hurry up and get my warm ducks gear on. But we're going out here. We're going duck hunting. Hopefully, it's gonna be good. We're gonna go where we've gone. We've gone before, and uh, see if we can shoot some mallards. There's obviously some geese out here too, and just kind of see what happens. That's the goal. Is just shoot some ducks, get Trapper Jay on some birds, and uh, we'll see what happens. You guys enjoy. Shoo! All right, we made it to the spot here, folks. We are ready to rock and roll. It's still drizzling a little bit. No ducks flying though, huh? You think, you think it's the rain? I I, if I was a duck, I wouldn't want to fly in there. Oh, there's one duck, yeah. He's chilling up there. He's ripping. Anyways, so we decided, hey, let's put a little twist on it. Let's get a challenge for Banjo and I to complete. Um, some people, okay, so I grew up shooting a pump shotgun. And then I upgraded a semi and hadn't looked back since. But part of me, when I use pumps, like sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit more accurate because you take your time a little bit. Trevor J, do you have a pump or semi? Semi. Pump or semi? Huh? What have you, what'd you grow up using? Oh, pump. semi. Semi? Yeah. Grew up using? Pump. Pump. Yeah. Pump. So it's kind of like a mix. So we're, we're going to see who can limit out faster with a pump or a semi. Now, the only disadvantage is the only pump we have is that Walmart gun, little stubby thing that we use for the cheap versus expensive. And it sucks and it's super loud and it's not very, I shouldn't say it's not accurate. The pattern's not very tight. So whoever gets it's going to be a little disadvantage. So the only way to really settle this is to do a roulette challenge to see who gets the pump versus semi and see who can limit out first. So you've got roulette ready? Yeah, just you and me. Sure. Okay. Whoever this lands on, let me, let me think which one I'm going to get. I think it's going to land on Uncle Banjo, so let's just say that the, whoever say, this lands on gets the pump. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. like that? Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, whoever this lands on Last gets the pump. Last challenge, I got the pump, so I don't want it this yeah, time. Yeah, true, true. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Shit. Dub! Yeah, no, uh, oh, oh! Banjo gets the pump. Oh, rip. Rip to Banjo. See, I was right. I figured it'd land on him. You're getting no pump, Daddy. Grab yeah. grab both of these things. Let me. We'll get it side by side. They're right up front. One of them's a normal size pew, and the other one's just a... It's a little miniature version. Also, it doesn't shoot three and a half. Size Look at difference. the size comparison there. So you've got short and stubby. Yeah. You're used to that though. You got no. it. Now you got it. All right. Well, Banjo's got pump. I got semi. Trapper Jay's got semi. And uh, we're going to see kind of what happens here. The wind's blowing from the north, it looks like. Yeah. God dang, this freaking rain sucks. I'm getting pelted right in the face. I don't see too many birds flying. We're going to go ahead and set some decoys out, get the spinners out, and uh, see what we can make happen. We got the decoys out, boys. We saw a couple geese. They came over. You excited? Yeah. When's the last time you shot a duck? So you've been duck hunting for 10 years. It's been 10 years. But it's been 10 years since you shot a duck. 
Wow. Was I duck hunting 10 years ago? I was. Mate, yeah. Me and Banzer, were, we were booing with our 20 gauges back then, I feel like. Yeah. Ten, I would, I would have been 13. Yeah. I'm probably shooting a couple ducks. Not much. Missing much. We're ready to go. I feel I feel pretty good about it. I feel like they haven't gotten up yet. I bet they're they're roosting somewhere down there. They haven't gotten up quite yet. Just with this rain. But huh? Look at it, look at this. Backrest banjo. And then just like that. He's got a little, like a little 20 gauge. It's a little shorty. Oh yeah, you got him. And you got you got honkers on your side too, so Good. you'll be you'll Good be ready. How you feeling? I'm in the old recliner. I'm <laughs> he says I'm gonna use the zoom feature. You guys just go ahead and Go shoot the ducks and retrieve. I'll sit here with the camera and just use the zoom feature. So, Vanjo stuck with the pump. I've got the semi. You've got a semi. You've got the camera. You're shooting through the lens. Unless we all limit out, and then then you just let her eat. You know what I'm saying? We're not sure how today's gonna go. Got ducks Andrew, right here. Oh, oh, rip, oh, rip, oh, rip. Here you go, buddy. I got you. Hang on. to shoot wow wow we each got two son you just dropped six dirt <laughs> one two three four five six unbelievable that was the first group of teal we've had in the last couple hunts i better grab some more shells hey he's toast now guy <laughs> dude a massive group of teal came in we each dropped two um, oh now we got him just had to finish him off a little bit six Duck. That's a, I think that's a record for the year. I don't think we've dropped six ducks in one group yet. <sighs> and they're teal, which they don't count towards your mallard limit. So now we each get to still shoot four mallards. That's the best part. Hell yeah. Shoo! Look at that. That's a good way to start the day. Really that's a good group. Close. That was a really good group. Group of freaking green wings came in. We dropped six. That's a record for the year, I think. I don't think we've dropped six birds in one group. And like I said, the, the best part is they're teal, so they don't count towards your mallard limit. So we can still shoot four more mallards. Which is what I'm excited for. I love a good green head. So we got six down so far. Me and Banjo are tied up. Good shooting. Trapper Jay, how's it feel? Good. It's awesome. You like it? Yeah. You're gonna want to come out more often now. Yeah, You're like, hey, you guys going duck hunting this weekend cool. or what? <laughs> <laughs> we got six. Let's see if we get more birds to come in. Kill him. I didn't get any. That was you boys. One and one. I missed. I was they they keep hugging that left side. We might need to scoot scoot down a little bit. I was shooting at a straggler up in the air. Well of course he was up in the air, but I thought you were gonna hit that one. No, he was I think he's just a little far. I also suck. Um but the banjo just took the lead though. He's got three, I only got two. Those more Telios too. Well folks, uh it's been a couple hours here. No, it's been like no, it's been about yeah, about an hour and a half probably since we last shot ducks. Trapper Jay left, he had to go actually go check traps. Imagine that. Um, so it was good, because he got he got a few ducks. Um, he hadn't shot ducks for like 10 years. Um, we are going to change things up. It's gonna be kind of one of those days where, well, it's, I feel like it's getting colder. The wind's picking up a little bit. It's getting chilly just sitting on this bank. We're really not seeing much, like anywhere. We're looking around and it's like, there's really not much going on. I don't know if the birds left, if they're, the rain messed it up. Kind of had a late start, but we, usually when we come in the mornings or even late, afternoons oh there's geese right here four geese four honkies we're gonna change it up a little bit um we spread out some decoys we, this is kind of a good spot we're thinking for a blind we'd love to get a blind here we've hunted here a couple times now we're like this is the spot so i need to cut this tree down um and this is gonna be our window you see our decoys we're gonna be perched up like four or five feet which would be pretty cool the blind's gonna go here we it was the blind we rescued from the riverbed that was sunk we lifted up it should be dried out by now we need to go find a trailer um hopefully kai dogs got a trailer around we got the mule and we're thinking we're gonna take a break since we're not seeing much go get the blind that way we can at least be comfortable we can sit in here there's a heater in the shed there we can wear all of our warm gear put the heater on sit in a nice comfortable blind and uh and hopefully finish out our limit that's we're just re strategizing i want to i want to grind it out but it's cold like grinding it out just sitting on a mud bank 
with freaking 25 mile an hour north wind it's a little chilly so if we have a blind you might as well use it plus once this blind set up we could use it again and again and this is going to be kind of our our new hunting spots we have a blind to the south and it's well it's a north wind so you don't want to be sitting down there so with that being said we're gonna head back hopefully find a trailer and get the blind and then i gotta hack this down so i'm gonna see if i can find a chainsaw if not i have a machete that's gonna take some time but i think i can still get it done so that's the plan let's go find this blind all right, here we go, folks. We got the blind. Shout out to Kai Dog. We borrowed the trailer he had, which actually should work perfect. So this is our blind. It's absolutely in mint condition. Oh, yeah, there's no nice door, door on that side. Oh man, it's still muddy in here too. That's all right. But that's see, that's the color of the mud bank, and you even got a little grass left, which we could grass in if we want. I don't think we need to. I think it'll be. We're gonna go ahead. Let's we'll throw it on the trailer. Haul it down there. Get it unloaded. Set up. See if we can shoot a few more ducks before the end of today. You guys, stay tuned. Oh, jeez. Give it a spin. I say we just leave it on the trailer. Hey. Dude, that thing fits like a glove. Shoo! See, I say we just leave it on the trailer, and then it's portable. You take it wherever you want. Just camo up the trailer. See if Kydog can sell me this trailer. Because this trailer would work great. Literally, just put that, take the, the gate off, yeah. and that'll be your entrance. Yeah. You can just pull it into your spot, move it if you need to. We'll be good to go. All right, well, let's haul it out there and see how it looks. There we go. Shoo, look at that blind, boys. I like it, it looks good. We're up high, see our decoys. I need to chop these trees out though, so I made the mistake of not asking Kydog for a chance on us, but his house, because we went and picked up this trailer. But I got a machete in the back, so nothing. A little manual labor ain't gonna kill me. Oh, you're we're getting it. Yeah, you're getting it. There you go. Beefcake. Chainsaws are neat. All right, trees cut, blinds up, time for a nap. Well, folks, it's the next day. We're out here in the blind that we set out yesterday. Banjo, okay, here's the real question, Banjo. Are we, I mean, clearly it's another day so we can shoot a full limit. Are we Are we scratching the board or is this an ongoing? Because I think you had me beat by one, didn't I you? I say it's ongoing. Oh, he want, he's the ongoing It's the same guy. challenge. That is true. So it's three to two, right? Yes. I don't remember. Yeah, it's three yeah. to two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Because we had two, four, six, seven, eight. You and Trapper J shot three each, and I shot two, and we had eight birds total. Yeah, you Teal. missed that one. Yeah, I missed a lot yesterday. So hopefully we do better. Banjo's on pump duty um, using the old shorty Walmart gun, and I've got my normal shooter. So it's three three to two. We're yeah. just going to – and so just to clarify, we can shoot – I mean, we can shoot six more ducks, not mallards, but between teal and other species and stuff. So – Potentially we could each shoot six more, but Banjo's got a one duck lead on me as of now. But we wanted to continue this video to today because I feel like we didn't, I, I just didn't want to lose, honestly. That's why we're continuing. I didn't want to call it good at 3-2. I feel like I'm going to be a sharpshooter today. I was sitting there last night dreaming, just practicing shooting clays and stuff like that. So today's going to go better than yesterday, I'm hoping at least. So we're in the blind and we also got our mascot, Beefcake mascot. How you doing there, buddy? Lucy, what are you doing there, buddy? And we got Papa Beefcake down there. You're not you're not partaking in the challenge. Though. You're just you're just here to kill ducks. I'm just to make sure you guys are legal. That's true. Yeah, he's our he's our designated legal team to make I'm sure we're not breaking. He's the ref. Oh, that's true. You can be the referee. Yeah. So Papa Papa Beefcake is here to shoot ducks as well. Commentary between Banjo and I, but we do have Lucy. So hopefully we get a few birds down for her. That way she can work on retrieving and stuff like that. So anyways, with that being said, let's see if the birds come in. I'm dead. Boys, I'm dead. How them feet feel? We got three honk daddy, so. A far retreat. Hey, you still alive? Hey, you quit that right now. Kick it. At least he didn't bring nothing back. It's because I was out there before her shooting one of these wounded ones, so when I told her to fetch it, she didn't know where to take it. 
but we got three honkers down. They landed like 60 yards to the other side of the decoys. It didn't make any sense. We just waited for them to fly in, or float in, swim in. I mean, I'm swatting a few, so at least we got some geese on the ground. Can you shoot him? Yeah, somebody. Go for it. I'll back you up. <laughs> yeah, that last one was just extra <laughs> precaution, I guess. It's dead. It's not alive now. Fetch! Here! Good girl, Lucy. Come here. Come on. Girl! Oh, it's a good call. Good girl. Good girl, Lucy. Well, Dre Banjo, you got that one. Yes, sir. I think Banjo's winning. He's winning now. Well, it's four, four ducks to two ducks. We each got goose, though. So he's winning, so. How'd that go? Uh, it turned on for the last second, but yeah, we're good. Did you get any of that footage? Oh, like I got your uh, one, the last one. Yeah. I tried waiting. Those are uh, those yeah. are some widgeons, though. Yeah, nice. Were they? Yeah, widgeons. We were we were waiting for they dude these. The problem with sitting here is you don't see the birds until they just they're showed in the decoys. Up. We're trying to get the camera going. It's cold, so we waited, and uh, well, they finally got up. So now you're still beating me by one, though. Yeah. I got three. You got four ducks. We each got a goose. Like I said we were we were waiting, trying to get the camera ready. Just when it's being cold, it don't it don't like cooperating. Lucy, lucky for you, buddy. See, Lucy's got a heater on her now. She don't she don't want to retrieve. It's too cold. I don't know. She's she's pissed. So I'll, I'll get this one since it's close. I'm glad it landed like pretty much in the decoys. So, I'll go ahead and get this bird. All right, Lucy, this is the easiest retrieve of 2020. Dude, she's gonna be so mad. She, look at her, she's all dry and fluffed up and warm, and I'm about to make her go get in the water again. But it's right here. Come on, Lucy. Come on. Come on. Fetch, fetch that bird. Go get it. Fetch. Look at that dog, good girl. Come here, Lucy. I bet she'll bring it. Come here, Lucy. Bring it in the blind. Come on. Come on, up here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Lucy. Come on. Come here. Come here. Hey, bring it here. Let's go. Get the blind. Ooh, that's a nice one. Hey, come here. Fetch. 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 You're close. You're close. Come on. Let's get in the blind. Get in the blind. Look at that. Hey. Hey, I'll take it. Bands? No oh, bands. Look at that. A little wedge. Yeah. I haven't shot it. I feel like I haven't shot a nice widget this year. Maybe shot like one, but it looks good. It's a little white patch. I know. If you had a white almost, patch, I might. It's almost getting it. Look at that. Look at that. You got a little. I like that, the green on it. They're, they're pretty. Oh, we got a little widget. Good job, Lucy. You brought. Look at that. Imagine sending your dog and sitting in the blind and not having to move. That's a dream. Oh, we got geese. Come here. Lucy, geese didn't want anything to do with us right then. What's the deal, buddy? Hey, I got the heater going for you. You can't complain. How many dogs out there get their own heater? That's what I'm saying. Well, folks, that's going to be a wrap for today. We got good harvest. Oh, rip. Just some blood. We got a couple geese, a few geese, a couple ducks. We got the old green head, the widgeon. But the winner, what happened? There's so many birds flying down there, like hundreds. Yeah, there's like hundreds of ducks, but they're way south, which yeah. we could hunt, but we need to hunt there next, I guess. We might need to move. There is a lot of ducks on there. The winner though, what were you saying? Get back to this one. Oh, this guy. No, no, there's a lot of ducks. We gotta go home. Yeah. the winner officially. Lucy, why are you running? The winner officially for pump versus automatic. Good old pump. I lost the last challenge with the pump. That so is true. So we've done two kind of pump unintentionally because the one was cheaper or expensive, right? Is that why yeah. you had the pump? Um why is she tweaking? <laughs> we have, we, Banjo's gotten stuck with the pump twice and I've had the semi twice. I won one, he won one. So now I feel like it's only appropriate to do it again if you guys wanna see it or in some fashion. But for today's episode from yesterday and this morning, hunting was not that great. Lucy, you, you retrieved some birds though. That's, that's all that matters. Lucy retrieved some birds, she had a good time, kept her warm. But the winner officially, oh my gosh, oh my. All these birds. Oh, uh, you know, just casual 75 green has just landed north of, north of the decoys. What happened there? Who said to stop hunting so quick? They're, they're, they're still dumping. Dude, they're still. When we can go grab our guns and sit on the edge. They're still coming. 
You gotta be kidding me. Dude, look at them all. Look at them all. Right here, right here. More above your head. Wow. Oh, there they go. I'd say we might have done goofed picking up so early, huh? Yeah. Look Dude, look at them. Look at this. Holy yep, I would say it's the, the late flight. <laughs> might have done it. We can go park the mule and go sit over down there if you want. I don't care. How many Dude, you? this is wild. Look at, that. Oh look at this. God. Those are all mallards. Literally, it's 9.30, and we hadn't seen a bird for an hour and a half. Dude, they're still coming. We can save them for tomorrow. Yeah, we could just, why don't we just leave them? We'll come back tomorrow. Yeah. Because it's going to be hard to hunt them now. We've kind of yeah, bumped them a little bit. See wow. That's a couple hundred. Yeah, there's a few hundred. Look, dude, they're still, look, they're still coming. They just oh are now getting up. Dude, they, yeah, they just got up. Full moon. Fans were selling us full moon. There was a full moon last night, and he said that they, they feed in the night, and then they wake up late, basically. That's what happened. Wow. Wow, all right, well, rip. Stay tuned to the next episode. Stay tuned to the next one. I guess we're going home and cook some of these birds up. Look. What's wrong with your dog? She's she's fighting a corn stock right now. That's good. Look at that. She's she's having way more fun right now than she did the entire morning in the blind. She has all this Anyways, up energy. we'll see you guys back at the house. Well, folks, how's it going? It's the next day. We are ready to cook up some of this duck. We've got two ducks here. What was that? Fish sauce. Fish sauce. You're not a big fish sauce guy? No. Ooh! That's what I'm saying. It smells like dirty socks. <laughs> Why would you Gross. cook all that? This is what Macy put out for us. I was like, hey, you want to make stir fry? She's like, yeah, put it out. Well, I've made stir fry before, but a lot of times these come with packets. Oh, so this is what we bought. You, know, you microwave in this banjo? Sure. I'd say banjo cooks this, this whole meal. What do you think? Really? I'm, I'm down. down. I'm down for that. Banjo, are you ready? I hate stir fry. You don't like eating? No. Stir fry? No. He didn't like it either. We just were talking. I about mean, it. like, I don't, I don't like dislike it, it, but it's, but it's, it's like, like, it's not, not it's not my like. It's not my go-to either. Choice. But I think it's not like a bad tasting yeah. meal. It's all right. I, just, I don't like soy sauce or like any of this stuff. So I'm not a big soy sauce guy either. Yeah. To be honest with you. Hey guys, Flair, what you're about to cook, we're just gonna absolutely hate. We got <laughs> it. Okay, <laughs> make a sure. Hey, this is your idea. It was. I, I Here's the thing. Okay, folks, we got home and I'm like, boys, we cooked duck a billion different ways. Now this is nothing new. I cooked it last year like this. I. Maybe I think early once. teal. Maybe early teal. But this, to me, and I've said this before on camera, to me, this is the most efficient way, besides jerky, to cook a bunch of duck in a way that most people will enjoy it. Okay, these guys apparently don't like stir fry, but like it doesn't taste like duck. When you cook it like this, it doesn't taste like duck. So duck is kind of hard to get rid of. Like there's a lot of people that don't like the taste of duck. Like you can't just give somebody a duck breast and be like, here you go. They're probably not going to like it. More than likely, it's just got that gamey. Texture. It's got that gamey taste, but cooking it this way, it it helps um, kind of mask the flavor of duck and makes it taste more like beef. And most people like beef stir fry, so I'm bringing it back just to almost inform you guys as well as um, eat a, eat, in my opinion, a delicious meal. So, what you do, you want to cut up this duck. I mean, that strip actually right there is probably about fine. So. You just make it small slices. This is gonna be a, actually this might be too much meat. We'll kind of see what it ends up looking like. I wanted to do two ducks just so we could get rid of them so we can make more room in the freezer for other stuff. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm cutting off all this stuff here and go ahead and just, th again, it's almost like jerky. Thinly slice the meat just like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna Cook the meat first, brown it up, just like you would brown up like ground beef or something for tacos, I guess. And, ooh, duck tacos. Ooh. I don't think we've ever made duck tacos. I've had goose tacos before. They're pretty pretty decent. Yeah. Do you, do you mix it with anything or you just went straight goose? Straight goose. Really? And it was the Seasoned, deal? Seasoned, yeah. Okay. All right, well, if you guys want to see us make anything. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. You guys should comment down below what, what you want us to do because we've got so much meat in the freezer, kind of whether it's ideas. deer, duck, wild game, uh, like all sorts of stuff. I'm kind of running out of that video. So if you guys have any good recipes, comment them down below. Um, or if you want us to cook a certain animal a certain way, let me know in the comment section down below. Cause again, we're kind of running out of ideas. We're trying to get creative with it, and try different things, new things to figure out what's our favorite. And you guys can help us do that. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up slicing these guys up and we're gonna throw them in a pan with a little bit of oil and get them brown up. Well folks, meat has been cut up. We're gonna throw a little bit of vegetable oil in here just to get things started. Man, why do you have to be the center of attention at all times here? Throw that meat in there. Oh, God, yeah. Splash. There we go. There we go. All right, all right. I'm throwing this on like a medium-high heat. And all we're going to do is just try to... I mean, you can pretty much cook this all the way. 
Um, but I just try to get you know both sides nice and brown because they're going to finish cooking inside the actual stir fry mix. So while this is going on, Benji, you going to get that fired up? Sure. How do you make this work? Do you throw some oil in it too? Water and oil. Water and oil? Yeah. Or just water? Or just oil? Two half tablespoons of oil. Of, half cup of boiling water. Stir, bring to a boil over medium heat. Stir in occasionally and cover in simmer for five minutes. So just, just water. Half a cup? That's a lot of water. Well, just throw it in there. We'll throw a little bit of, we'll throw a little bit of that. Throw, throw that in there. There you go. Also yeah. not frozen, so that's kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. quicker. Now nah, we'll get it. Big tea guys. Oh, oh, you know it's Gordon Ramsay. Hey, what up, G? Oh, snap. Do you like peas? Um, no, not really. Yeah. All right. They're not my favorite. I think just cook them in oil. They'll be all right. Just gonna, what we're gonna do though is we're gonna cover them. That way the steam can help cook fish. And then we're gonna combine them and then put a bunch of sauces in there. Actually, you can put the sauce, yeah, let, let them cook for a bit. That way they don't get too soggy. And then you put the sauce in. Oh yeah, we're, look at that duck. Some nice looking duck. I mean, you could season this meat. If you want to get some, um, get some ducks all meat in here. All right, this, just a little, just a, not much. Just add a, just a little something. Here. Just like that. If you guys want this, we'll be in the link down below as well. Got all sorts of seasoning, buffaloes, wild game, and all meat. So go ahead and just keep, keep cooking this guy. And yep, see they're steaming. Let these guys steam up, and then said so we're gonna combine them, and then put a bunch of sauce, soy sauce, hoisin sauce, fish sauce, sesame oil, all that good stuff. Looking good, boys. All right, we're adding it to the mix. Boom, throw that in there and turn this off. Go ahead and give her the old mix. Look at that. Just like beef stir fry. So we're gonna go ahead and start adding stuff. I'm not really sure how much of what. What's this thing? Oh, God. Really? Did you over squirt there? I'm not sure what this is. Should I throw some in there, I guess? Sesame seed oil. Get some of that sesame seed oil on there. Premium fish sauce, Banjo's favorite. Throw a little bit of that in there. And then soy sauce, this is probably the biggest component here. We're just gonna give it what it is. Might as well just finish it off. All right. You can do a bunch of different stuff. You can put teriyaki in there if you wanted to, but I think that'll probably work. So what I'm gonna do is mix this thing up and then I'm actually probably just gonna throw it on low and just let everything kind of mesh, flavors mesh together, and uh, we'll be ready to serve it up. All righty, folks, we're gonna go and plate this guy up. It's gonna be a freaking giant plate. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's healthy meat, veggies, lots of oil, so not really that healthy. A lot of juices you got in there. That's a lot, look at that juice. You can always drain that, I guess, if you really want to. It kind of like the juice, adds flavor. Banji, your favorite meal's ready. The, oh, I am a little nervous that the duck is gonna taste a lot like duck because, like, if you, like, we didn't, come on, come on, come on. You, you just, like, you gotta marinate it for it to, you better throw up, or? No. This, it can't be that bad. No. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go in for some veggies first. See if that's any good. Oh, I'm, I am a little pea. bit nervous that, you like a pea? Yum. Is they cooked, at least? Yeah. It's not bad. Oh, hold on. Ooh. That's good. Your sauce isn't bad. I was gonna say, my, my makeshift just throw crap in the bowl. That broccoli was like, per it had a little crunch, but not much. Because yeah. if you go too long, it gets soggy. No one likes soggy broccoli. Millie might. Millie, do you want soggy broccoli? I can't, I feel like I can't give you anything because like, then you're gonna learn, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go straight up just one piece of meat. Okay, mine wasn't bad. Okay, I'm going meat and a carrot. Carrot, okay, yeah. See, mine was good. It was a little piece. You getting some game? I had like a hint. A little game? Tastes like duck. Really? My piece was I mean, not. it's not like awful. My piece wasn't that bad. But. Like this? All right, this plus, give me a pea. Or pea give me. was actually kind of good. Pea was decent? Yeah. All right, I'll go pea. Mine was kind of a chewy piece. It was bigger. You get a small piece. Mmm. 
I think the bigger pieces are mm -hmm. a little more gamey. But this guy, I bet that'll be pretty decent. Like that tastes like a shake. Yeah. It's a little piece. Yeah. It's almost like if you cut your pieces in like little, a third. Even a little thinner. Mm -hmm. Like you really got it. Almost, because I cut it about as thin as I really could. What you can do is you can actually throw it in the freezer for like an hour. It firms it up and you can really get some thin slices out of it. I'm confused why my dog is. Every day. Like talking. So, like, what do you think she's trying to say right now? Mm -hmm. Give me some of that. Bailey, you can't whine. You cannot whine for food. Anyways, she's normally these dogs are not inside. Lucy, look at Lucy. I would say, do it again. Slice it thinner. Yeah. It needs a marinade. Like, yeah. Even if it's just in some teriyaki sauce, soy sauce some whatever, soy sauce, yeah. some fish some sauce, flavor. sesame oil. Let it sit for like at least an hour or two. Just really get that game flavor toned down. I'm a little impressed though. You're in, you're not, impressed. Yeah, like the really. sauce and everything together is for just throwing some bad. stuff in there. It actually yeah. does taste pretty good. I think you just gotta you gotta control like these big pieces. Yeah, no, that's not it. Th that's it, it. Tastes a little too gamey. It's not bad. Like I'm not gonna like not eat it, but okay. I didn't get much game in that one. Really? Mm -mm. And honestly, the longer you let it sit, it's probably gonna True. help too. We so we literally up. cut it up and threw it in there right away. So that piece is like steak. Soaks, was, soaks mm -hmm. it up a little more. We gotta yeah. just gotta let it marinate a little bit. But I will say again for those of you guys looking to get kind of rid of or clean out your freezers, wild gamey, if it's kind of gamey. This is a really good way to hide it. We literally took fresh duck. We didn't even let it sit. We didn't marinate it with nothing. Fresh duck, put it in there, and that's it ended up actually tasting pretty good. So I'd say if you guys want to try it out, go for it. Um, you saw what I threw in there, but I would suggest, definitely say slice your meat, then marinate it for a little bit, and it's going to taste a little bit better. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, everything for ducks is linked down in the description down below. If you guys want to go check it out, it'll be linked down if you guys want to check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching, and peace.